Eigenform essentially is German for self-form. It has to do with the way that a pattern can emerge out of a particular configuration. In my Lefevre lecture, I talked about the way that Gothic architecture used structure in a very overt way, the way that Renaissance architecture tended to use uh, structural innovation in a very covert way, hiding it so that other architectural effects could come to the fore. And in my work, I'm looking for a, a third way of expressing structure, one in which structure is foregrounded, but you're not quite sure how. You can tell that it's there, and it's in fact largely driving the aesthetics of the piece and the tectonics of the piece, but it's not such a one-to-one -one, uh, clear uh, expression of how the structure is working. It's something a bit more, um, more mysterious. For my research, I was working with a mode of structural failure called buckling. What I arrived at was a way of using the buckling forms to map multiple instances of deformation of surfaces onto one another, and through that arrive at a, a sort of puzzle, puzzle piece tectonics. So uh, this, this system that I developed was um, is essentially generated by one surface, but two instances of its deformation. And I was able then to generate a series of interlocking pieces. I was interested in how buckling those signature patterns could produce architectural effects and perhaps a new architectural tectonic. There were really two parallel tracks to my research. One was the, the, the digital form finding, uh, the digital content generation that gave me new material to consider for design. And the second track was very much finding an appropriate materiality with which to manifest these, um, these shapes and concepts that I was working with. So early on, I started doing a series of tests in the Fab Lab to determine the appropriate materiality for these pieces. We ultimately settled on a, a, a way of making uh, these components out of composites, so uh, resins with reinforcement. One of the parts the, of the process that was very nerve-wracking to me was the fact that we had these molds and then we had to actually start building the, the piece inside of the mold with the expectation that a week later we were going to pull them out and hopefully they would be great. Uh, but we had no way of knowing. So unlike building a piece up from the foundation and sort of like kind of working out, we really had to, to do that process in reverse. We had the mold, then we sprayed the top layer in first. So the finished surface was this uh, kind of glossy marine grade gel coat and hoped that that everything that we had done previously to protect the molds from that material would work and that they would pull out. Um, once we had that almost structural stiff paint in and uh, on as the first layer, we roughed that up and started putting in a structural layer of epoxy and uh, fiberglass reinforcement. So we worked for about a, a week, I would say, or for five days, putting in that layer of structural reinforcement on top of the what would ultimately be the, the outermost layer of the pieces once we pulled them out, uh, without really knowing what we were going to get when we, we pulled them out. So we'd done a lot of research, but it was our first time trying at full scale, and fortunately, it worked. If eigenform is a statement, it's, it's really about trying to find the interaction that takes place between any object and the field of forces that it sits within. In my pieces, I'd like them to remain a bit more mysterious. My hope is that these pieces have a, um, have a richness and a, an intricacy, uh, a level of detail that people find engaging. Hope that people walk around them, uh, touch them, trying to figure out how they, how they work, how they go together, um, and come away with maybe some clues, but maybe um, still some questions about how it's operating.